This is the airport that they're building in Sacramento. It's going to be really beautiful, uh, soaring spaces and uh, lots and lots of light. I try to enter in, into projects with an open mind and just look for inspiration wherever I could get it. These were pictures of Sacramento after a flood. I, I started seeing the trees in them. With the sky being vacant, the trees become really apparent. The way this process started with Donald on this sculpture, as well as others, is that he has an idea, and then uh, we start with a conversation of him saying what he likes, what he's thinking of. She would send me pictures, and I would cut them up and have her place things differently. Jonquil made a, a bigger model that we are using as a template for building the actual thing. While the model looks like this, the real living tree is a valley oak from Sacramento. The valley oak is this fantastic, gnarly, wonderful tree. Look how graphic it is. I can't think of a more complex process than what we're actually doing. Building this remotely, it'll have to come apart, go into trucks, go to California, come out of those trucks, go into the building, reassemble. Basically, this is an aircraft aluminum tubing. We cut and we form by making cuts and rotating them and create really interesting shapes that way. Starting to take a shape. This piece required LED lighting, and I believe there's uh, over 3,000 on this piece. Strip them off. Twist them up. And since we can't ever access this wiring again, we wanted the most secure thing. No one's ever going to believe that this is a food court. So we're at the moment in time where we're trying to figure out uh, cutting the chain. finished texture on the tree is done with this, uh, it's a two-part epoxy. It's flexible. So what we do is uh, Jonquil goes to an actual valley oak and takes uh, latex mold off of the bark and then we use that to impress a texture to get the texture in the actual tree. It's funny how something so natural could be 100% synthetic. We had to take the whole thing apart by hand, which we'd done several times before, so that wasn't that big a deal. It barely fit in the truck. It was such a tight fit. There was literally an inch on each side. There were some naysayers. <laughs> there were some people that... There were some people that didn't think that it would fit, and you can't really blame them, because it didn't really look like it would fit. <laughs> big terminal, you get on a train, you get off, and then you go through security. So all the time you're going through the security lines, this is off in the distance, and uh, you're looking at it, and then you come out into the space, uh, and there it is. The, the crystals, in a sense, are a substitute for leaves, giving it a, a fullness and a, a sense of being alive even though it's, you know, pretty dead. This is, this is the area where the, where the crystals just first start. So I'm starting with really the smallest ones, and then I'm gonna let it build a little bit. I start with the big ones, yep. The sm I try and go with the smaller ones on the end, and then fill in the rest. And you make sure that the same one isn't next to another one, so that, like, when someone looks at it, they can't distinguish a pattern. I shove my hand in the box and whichever one I grab out is the one I put on. But I try to be strategic about um, where I place that crystal. And the idea is because there's already you know, sunlight coming through the windows, LED bulbs going on, these crystals are just gonna create 
this amazing shimmering rainbow of light and color. I don't know what people will think when they see it, but I, I have a feeling that people are going to be drawn to be underneath it. I like the contrast and texture, the roughness of the tree, and then the, the sparkle of the crystals. Some people won't be as interested, and other people will probably miss their flights. They'll just want to stay with it. OK, st stop, stop it there for a moment. So I say this is it. Yeah, this is it. Pressure's off the hook. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Ed Boucher said something once that I thought was really great. He said, um, some art you look at and you look at and you say, wow. And then you think about it and you say, huh? And he says, but the art that I really love is you look at it and first you say, huh? <laughs> And then you think about it for a while and you say, wow. Yeah. And I thought, that's, that's brilliant. And uh, I, I agree with that. Mm.